Daniela left. Why are you going crazy? It's just, it's just a lot. It's a lot. <sighs> you all are going to be doing a scavenger hunt. Go, 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 go. Oh wow, this place is a mess. Expect the unexpected. I should have known something like this was gonna happen. So the person that I'm eliminating is Gabby. The person that I am taking on my one-on-one -on -one date is Monica. Welcome back to season three of Twin My Heart. If you haven't watched the previous episode, make sure to watch it so you're all caught up. We're down to the final three girls. This is crazy. I don't know what's going to happen next. The pressure is on as Nate determines who his perfect match is. So we're sitting on the couch with Monica and Brianna and we're just talking about like girl stuff, just random things. I'm trying to ask some juicy questions and somehow we get on the topic of Aaron. We all know that Aaron had a thing with Nate okay. before this. We had no idea when we casted her. <laughs> but she said she got cast like a while back. Yeah. Like yeah. before, it was, before, before she was even him, picked. Apparently. Yeah, that's what she told us too. Well, I was gonna ask her, I wanted I to see like, did he know before you got I here? I thought she said like, she messaged him or he messaged her. Like, like I want to know. Like, well, I can I, tell you. Did he? So he, they had like met at a party yeah, yeah. and that's how they knew each other. And then she came back in town and he was like, oh, why are you back in town? And she was like, oh, I'm going on this like show. And he was like, oh, what show? She was like, oh, some like dating show. And he was like, well, what's it called? And he, she was like, oh, like twin my heart. And he was like, well, I'm the guy. And she was like, oh. That's not what she told us at all. She told us she met him at a party and then they like sort of kept in touch and they hung out like once or twice and then she found out from an article that he was going to be the guy on Twin My Heart. So apparently there's two different stories going around about how Nate and Aaron found out each other were going to be on the show. Who's telling the truth? How long have you known Nate? Not that long, like three, three months. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, maybe four. But like, how did um, like how did you figure out that like he was gonna be on the sh on the show? I ran into him out, and we just started chatting, and I was like, like "Oh, I'm doing a show, whatever." That's so funny. I know. Like, so Wait, I know. you met him like you saw him like out in person? Yeah. And you asked him. Brianna looks so annoyed at trying to figure out when Aaron and Nate found out that they were gonna be on Twin My Heart. I mean, honestly, I don't blame her. Aaron's telling too many stories. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just asking, just, yeah. just because when you were explaining to the girls, like you kind of left that part out. Yeah. And you were just like, oh, like, no, I saw articles and stuff about the show and that he was a part of it. Mm -hmm. And that's how you figured it out. We're so excited for this one-on-one -on -one date, even though we're not gonna be a part of it, but we got horses on the property and they're going horseback riding. Me and Monica are literally matching. She's got the brown boots, I got the brown boots, we got the blue jeans, we got the flannels going on. Great minds think alike. Okay. Wow. Welcome. Welcome to your one-on-one -on -one date. I am so <laughs> excited. Obviously, oh you gosh. probably know what you're doing, but you're gonna be riding horses. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. We decided to leave Nate and Monica alone on this horseback riding date so they can get as much alone time as they can. Oh, hands. Don't fall off the horses. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was either like five or six, and it was like one of my first times learning how to ride a horse. Yeah. And it was the horse that I like, was gonna, it's like kind of mine. Um, it's my cousin's, yeah. I rode it all the time when I would like go to Kentucky to like visit family and stuff. Do you think your parents would like me? I think my parents would like you. You think so? I think so. I really like you, so I know they're gonna like you. What about you? What do you think your parents would think of? My mom I just I just know my mom would love you and my grandma. <laughs> We're gonna try to sneak away and talk without the cameras hopefully following us. Thank you again for this. Of course. <laughs> Why did I just have an accent right there? <laughs> I'm not bad. I don't mind the oh accent. My God. <laughs> Cheers to, to date number three, yeah. Were you like the popular girl in school? Um I was like the smart kid. Okay. 
that was also like captain of the troop team. Uh, okay, like, so very yeah, different groups. But I would never say it was like the popular, popular one. How about you? I think you were like the all-star jock that all the girls had a crush on. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't all, all-star, but yeah, I played sports and like, yeah, I pretty much knew everyone. Because mm -hmm. I was just a very outgoing person. Like I wasn't right. quiet or anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on, forgot about the graves. <laughs> all right, so. That didn't happen. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, nobody saw that one. <laughs> hey. Uh, there you go. Right, your turn. No, 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 no. Your turn. I'm not gonna catch it. I'm gonna it's throw gonna it up. If like you don't try, bears. if you don't try, it's gonna hit you on the head. I don't know. I might rather just prefer it hitting me on the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, okay. two, one. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even go for it. What the heck? <laughs> With some healthy grapes. <laughs> <laughs> nice big old healthy grape. <laughs> <laughs> Now every time you see a big grape, you're gonna think Yeah, big old healthy grape. <laughs> Can we take a moment to appreciate Nate and Monica's one-on-one -on -one date and how it was like during the sunset? It's beautiful, beautiful. What's yeah. your Christmas site? My Christmas. Um, it's just with my grandma and my mom, mm -hmm. which I love that. Yeah. Um, Christmas Eve, we open up one gift. Yeah, yes, that's And nice. then the next morning, you know, we open up all the presents and I love it. What do you guys do on Christmas? Like, does all the family get together? Or? Yeah, so. Both of my parents are only children, mm -hmm. so I don't have a lot of like direct like aunts and uncles type of thing. Okay. Um, but I have a lot of like more extended family on my mom's side. We have a lot of family friends, so usually like Christmas Eve we'll do like a party at my house type of thing. Um, invite everyone over. My mom will make like pozole, which is like a what is that? It's like a traditional Mexican soup, okay. and like it's always made around the holidays. I really like the level that me and Monica have reached. We're talking about our families, how many kids we want. It's becoming super special. And you gotta teach me Spanish. Okay, I could do that. Cause I only know like one thing in Spanish. Yo quiero un beso. Oh, that was smooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, I like that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Well, thank you for going on this date with me. It's our third date. Three nights in a row. Mm -hmm. I could be done for this every night. Could you? <laughs> yeah. That's good to know. Monica's definitely not afraid to show what she wants, and I love that about her. This is awkward. You, want, you guys want some big old healthy grapes? I'll actually, take some grapes, actually. I would, yeah. I would love some grapes. But like you gotta call them big. You gotta call them big. Big old healthy grapes. Yep, exactly. Grapes. Do that. Look how big they are. They're like apples. They are. <laughs> Back to your date. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was, it was fun. We got to like pet them, play with them for a little bit. I wish I could stay for everyone to ride. Yeah. They have four. Yeah, Can we, we all go ride? I know. I know. One was just chilling. We could have like popped up in the back. We could have run one together and I'd be like, hey guys! <laughs> so funny. If you guys just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I, was, I was like, there's an extra horse, me and Brianna have a date? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wanted to see if you maybe wanted to go outside. Oh, sure. And maybe make some s'mores. S'mores? S'mores, do you like s'mores? I love s'mores. Okay, well good, because I want to go outside. S'mores? Is it hard? Is it something you can do? Like, is that hard yes. to do? Yes. Is it yes. burn them? <laughs> All right, let's make okay. some noise. Yeah, let's go. I'm so down for that, actually. Okay, so here we are. We have marshmallows and chocolate and cookies. Okay. So do you like your marshmallows medium rare or medium? Never medium rare, okay. ever. Yeah. That's disgusting. They'd probably still be moving. Yeah. <laughs> cookies for graham crackers? Yeah. Oh, that's new. That's probably so good. Yeah, and then we have the chocolate, Hershey's, and then we have this. Oh, wow. That's actually gonna be really good. Oh, wow, that's really good. Is it? That's a cookie and a marshmallow? Look, I yeah. have a nut in mine. I don't nut. even know which kind of chocolate they grab. You gonna have friends after this? Out of, out of all this? <laughs> we talked about that. I hope so. I. I think like me and the girls, like literally everybody that's been sent home, we already have like this sisterhood. That's crazy to me. Isn't that let weird? Me just, like... Let me just point out that that is crazy to me because I feel like on every like type of show like this, especially with girls, there is the most drama. So I was a little bit surprised mm -hmm. that you guys were all like so close. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel about that? Do you think like we talk behind your back and 
have things to say? Um, I have mixed emotions about it because it's like everyone's competing for the same person. So I know if I was in your guys' position, I would have been like... Yeah, like think of all your exes <laughs> getting together and just like talking about it. Because like what, you know, we talk about this obviously. Like this is how we all met. Mm -hmm. So we bring you up. Yeah. <laughs> is there no like... But I can't spill the tea. So does it bother you to see me with like someone else? That's your friend, hey, apparently, on the show. You want me to be so be honest? Be completely honest. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, like... <sighs> okay, so, like, think about, like, the barn the other night when you pulled me out. Mm -hmm. We were doing eliminations. Like, the next day, I really didn't want to talk about it with anybody. I personally would like to keep everything kind of private mm -hmm. and, like, keep it to myself because I just don't think they need to know. Like, it's not their business. But Girl Code, you guys are all great friends. It is, but let's, t let's do Girl Code when we're all gone. When this isn't a thing anymore. Okay, no, that's like, different. Like, the show's over. We don't have to worry about that. It's, like, not in everybody's mind. Like, it's not still fresh. Yeah. So, it's like that. But on a serious note, thank you for pulling me aside. No, like, I really, honest, I wanted to because, you know, like, eliminations tonight. And today, I feel like we haven't, like, had a lot of time to talk. So, I just, I really wanted to, you know, just sit down with you. Just do something, like, fun and, like, cutesy, mm -hmm. and, you know. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, it's good. oh my gosh, I'm kind of jealous right now. I mean, you can have some. Let me tell you, cookie and marshmallow, not the Hershey's. That wasn't the vibe. But <laughs> cookies and marshmallow, yeah. so good. All right, I'll have to try it. Um, I'm here to let you know that it's time to get ready for eliminations tonight. So the worst time of the night. It's beyond worse. It's like I know. I don't even want to go get ready. I'm dreading this night more than any of the nights before. Okay, so tell us about your date with Monica. My date with Monica was honestly magical. <gasps> yeah, that's a word like I can use. Like a fairy tale magical? No way. Yeah, no, that was hands down the best date I've ever been on in my life. I think me and Monica's relationship is very strong. Okay. Like we can just naturally think of topics to say, it doesn't come off like it's being forced. And yeah, it's just real. Okay. And so I saw you with Brianna. Mm -hmm. And how was that? Me and Brianna had a great conversation too. It was like a mini date, like we were, we were doing s'mores, and it was amazing. We really got to talk about some deep stuff. Okay. Okay, so how are you feeling about eliminations? <sighs> eliminations are here, and I have no idea who I'm eliminating. I wish I was going into this with more clarity. Like, I feel so strongly about all these girls, and I just really don't have, like, a confident decision on who I want to send home right now. I just don't. So because Nate has had a really crazy roller coaster of a day, I think it's best that we just call off eliminations tonight and that nobody gets eliminated tonight. I think so too. Maybe we should just cancel eliminations for tonight? Don't joke with me. Please make that a thing. Please make that a thing. <laughs> Let me have one more day to think. That's all I need. Are you serious? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense because today was expect the unexpected. <laughs> I'm so happy, actually. Aww. Let's go tell the girls. Do you want to tell them in a, uh, like, just casual, or do you want to do it in a mean way? <laughs> I think I like the suspense, though. I like suspense, too. Meanies! She, it was her idea. <laughs> <sighs> okay, ladies, um, you look beautiful tonight, but today's been a whirlwind of emotions, for sure. It's definitely been crazy, and now we are here at Eliminations. Yeah, um, like, like she said, you guys look beautiful, and thank you for today. Um, that said, tonight I will be eliminating... Nobody. <laughs> I okay. said that earlier! Okay. <laughs> just kind of decided that because today was just so heavy with emotions that there was going to be no eliminations tonight. So... I can't do it, like, again right now. I just cannot. <laughs> no, there's no way. I can't even do it I either. can't do it either. We could either. either. Yeah. <laughs> so that means we get to see you guys another day. Yay! I'm going to give you a hint for tomorrow's challenge, and the hint is bring your inner child. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> 
do that. I can do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have a special surprise for you guys. You guys get to spend the rest of the evening in the hot tub with Nate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Oh, it's nice to relax. Enjoy. Yeah, just relax. Enjoy, Enjoy the night. Are you going to get in the hot tub? No. I'm not really feeling it tonight. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to bed. We, we'll let Nate have his moment with the, the girls. I feel like we've been in Nate's business a lot today, so you know what, we'll just let him, let him be. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Let me ease into that. <laughs> like we've been sitting here for a We've been here for a while, we're gonna little really? warm. Why are you guys so much taller than me? We're on our feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I was like, uh, How do you feel about not sitting in here? I'm loving it. <laughs> We're like holding hands, we're like, guys, it's okay. I know, you guys are holding hands. hands. Like, I was like, oh my god, I feel like the sweaty. bad guy here. I feel like I'm the villain and like the team over there. No, we are a team. Anyways. We just play a game and whoever loses has to jump in the pool. What game? What's the game? Yeah, whoever loses. What's the game? Never oh, have no, I ever. I we didn't have, finish our game. Like, Ari, can you give us never have I ever questions? Like yeah. say it on top. Or just look up on your phone or something. Oh, here's one. Never have I ever kissed two girls on the same day. Uh, Alrighty. Okay. I Sorry, I'm strong. Aaron. I see what you're doing. Um, well, in that case, put that finger down. Put that finger down. It's fine. It's oh, like you guys are know. just assuming that I kissed two girls on one day? Oh, we already know. We know. We know. How do you know? Hot tub talk last night. I don't like that he's kissing other girls. I'm gonna be straight up. Exactly. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like that at all. How are you guys this close? <laughs> Never have I ever stayed in touch with an ex. That's I think all say, of us. I feel have. like at some point in your life. Never ever said, okay, so we're all putting a finger down. Okay. 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 Should we tell stories? I'm just kidding. No. No, we, no, we don't have to do that. Never have I ever got extensions. <laughs> yes! <laughs> He's going okay. He's so excited. Never have I ever gone on a horseback riding date. I knew it was going to be something that already. You have one finger left. You have to put your finger down. You have to for that okay. one. Okay. Um, never have Take I nails. ever. Dated 10 people at once. Not me, girl. <laughs> you can't miss me with that. Yes, you did. I did not you dated 10 girls. I did not yes, date 10 girls. What were you doing? Promoted. What were you doing? I was actually like had, oh, whatever. I lost, I guess. Just, can you, you just go in? I think you should probably get How in. about you just get out and you go in? Let's have the confessionals right now. Nate, so what do you think about? You put, you put, you put, you put in a lot of stress, stress yeah, every night. Honestly, you know, like, I day. think it's ridiculous how the three girls that are supposedly liking me um, teamed up against me and made me jump in the pool. Something just crazy here. This this friendship <laughs> is just idea. really like. You were the one that came up with the pool idea, so I think it's fair you go first. You just do it. Go, go, go. Just say YOLO and do it. You know what? This is just messed up. Get it. Two, one, jump! Oh, oh he's gonna be so good! Oh, he had to hit us with a backflip. I know. A little okay. bit impressed. A little okay. bit impressed. That was cold. He looks cool. in pain. He looks in pain. That might be the coldest thing I've ever bumped into. Comment down below what has been your favorite date this season. Make sure to tune in to the next episode. Hit the bell button to get notified when the next episode comes out and give this video a like. Make sure to check out Twin My Heart, the podcast available in the description below. You don't want to miss out on the tea because it's hot. Final three. Welcome to Twin My Heart, the talent show. Have you thought about who you want to eliminate? I'm definitely nervous today. What are you doing? Why are you pulling her away? Where do you think we stand? It's. It's, it's, it's great. Subscribe to Awesomeness TV, subscribe to Nate, check him out on TikTok. Check out our TikTok as well and subscribe to us as well. Yeah, you might as well. You might as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.